Welcome back to Area Diesel. Assuming most of you are, are coming to this video linked from Brian Block's channel. If you've been following Brian, you know that he's doing a engine conversion on an old Heister forklift. So taking out an old tired gas burning Hercules and he's upgrading to an 8.3 liter Cummins. Area Diesel is a turbocharger and fuel injection shop and we're going to participate here on the injection system for this engine. So. Brian has sent us um, a P3000 Bosch injection pump. He also sent along a set of injectors. Don't know much about these. Um, he thought four of them were a match. He sent six here, so we're going to crack these open, uh, see if we can get him a set of injectors fixed up for this machine too. Okay, so now we're back in the teardown room with Tyler. Tyler's going to chuck up a fixture plate here for holding the injector body during disassembly. So. This is a Robert Bosch KBAL style injector. The injector in the fixture, crack the nozzle nut loose. Pretty low part count here in a mechanical injector. So nozzle nut comes off, that captures the injector stack. Nozzle nut, nozzle, intermediate plate, spring spring seat that's pretty well it for disassembly the leading edge the, the leading surface on the injector body is, is a critical surface so you're going to see him capture the put the nut back on to protect those surfaces here he's wiring up the stack keep those components together uh, for, for cleaning and so right here put the nut back on to protect those surfaces they're a, a precision ground surface that seals just based on their on their mating surfaces and tolerances so over to the solvent tank here you know rinse all the crud and grease and dirt off of them make sure the passages are rinsed out and, and clean of debris and blow everything back off get the solvent and dirt back off of these components so we can go back to the assembly room with them so Take the body over to the buffing wheel. We've got the nozzle nut on the body protecting those surfaces. And just cleaning up rust, corrosion, dirt, debris. Just want to get the body back to a, a clean surface again. So. That's it. Good as new. Okay, back to the build-up room now. Again, fixture plate. He's got the body chucked up there, and he's going to reassemble this injector. So, um, you know, reverse the procedure. Spring seat down in the body. Make sure it seats. Spring shim intermediate plate nozzle nozzle is pinned so it's clocked into the body of the injector it has a set orientation there so line it up and set it on the body nozzle nut captures the assembly here
torque it down. Okay, now over to the pop tester. I'm going to flush it and fill it a few times here. You open the valve to the pressure gauge and depress the lever to see what pressure the injector pops off at. That's the critical calibration here of the injector. So he found that the pressure setting was low, so back over, disassemble this, and you're gonna see him pull the shim out. So what we're trying to do is set the spring pressure or the pop-off pressure. The pressure is set with the thickness of the shim. He's gonna take out the shim that's in it. He's trying to get more pressure so he's going to add a thicker shim. Here he's measuring the, the shim that's in it. We know that every thousandth of an inch is about three bar as far as pressure. So he's, he knows how low he was. He's going to go to his, to his selection here, get a thicker shim. It's going to put more tension on the spring, which is going to require more pressure to lift the pintle off of the seat in the nozzle. So he's going to go back together now with a thicker shim, reassemble the injector nozzle nut. Torque the nut. Again, those sealing surfaces, critical area, critical torque spec. Back to the pop tester charge it, flush it. Now he's going to open the valve to the gauge and this is where he's checking the pressure setting of that injector. So his estimation was good on his shim. He's got his pressure set correctly. Okay, so now we're checking atomization, listening for that chatter so we know we've got a good functioning injector. Spray pattern is good. The fuel's being atomized. Pretty well done now. He's going to put the dust grommet on here. This keeps stuff from getting down in the cylinder head between the body and the and the head. Uh, nozzle chamber gasket, that's your sealing surface. Uh, protective cap for shipping. Same thing on the inlet and return. Protect those threads. So There it is. Rebuilt calibrated injector. There's the set of six. So Back out here uh, he's going to do uh, engraving on this injector, so he's going into his work order, finding his serial number. You're going to see him etch this injector, so there he's locating his area. He's got his information loaded. And now we've engraved part number, serial number, right on the body, so if we ever have this injector come back, we can see what was done. So. There it is. Finished product right next to the pump. And we'll get this stuff uh, put back together and sent out to Brian. So there you have it.